no. Hang on just one second, and let me pull your file. Sure. Okay? Uh, I'll be right with you. Okay, then. Music to sleep by. Alright, uh, how's it going, guys? It's been a while, uh, but uh, I'm glad you, you, you're stuck around this long. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, the knee is getting better. You know, I can move around and walk relatively normally. I can get on the bikes, as you can see, they're here relaxing. And my sure has become a catch-all for tools and what have you. Uh, the Sportster sitting here next to my road bike, which I've finally been able to get back on and spin a little bit. Um, finally gotten to the point now where I can actually put my feet on the pegs and on the floorboards and I can actually stand the bike up. Um, I kind of feel comfortable enough to where I can actually get back on the bike and ride. So, but first, but first, first things first, going to take this and actually go register the Sportster finally and get a regular plate for it. So come on, let's go. Trip is dirty. <laughs> I don't know that this is exciting for you guys, but it's kind of exciting for me since I've had the Sportster since February and I have not registered it. Knee surgery and all that crap. Six hours later. Okay, so I just got done in motor vehicle. There's, they didn't allow any filming in there. Otherwise I would have I brought the camera in with me. So as it turns out, where I bought the Sportster from was, as you saw in one of the previous videos, is uh, Worldwide Motorsports in Decatur, Illinois. As it turns out, uh, those knuckleheads didn't have the title registered in the national system so that it can be looked up. So what that means is I have to get on the phone with them and have them register the title so that I can title the bike and get it registered and get my plates and ride it because right now it has no plate and it's not registered so i can't do anything with it <sighs> nothing can be easy right 20 minutes later all right time to some fun hello 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 uh, World of Power Sports, right? Yes, World of Power Sports Indicator. Okay, who can I talk to about the titles? Uh, I can get you over to my title lady. Her name is Rhonda. Okay, great. Thank you. Rhonda. Do you like this thing? I had it when I did the live wire thing, and I kind of think a little cool. I decided I'd grow it back. Maybe I'll color it orange or something like that. Orange and black, Harley colors. Oh, listen. I've always hated this hold music. This is Rhonda. Can I help you? Hi, Rhonda. My name is Ted Kettler. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I, I guess I guess we'll find out in a moment now, won't we? So, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Uh, back in February, I purchased a uh, 2003 Sportster from um, World of Power Sports. And right. it took nearly four months for me to get the title uh, from you guys. But I finally got it. And I went to go register the bike today here in North Carolina. And I couldn't because they told me that the title is not in the NMVTIS system. So the national system for titles, apparently it's not registered in there. So I believe you guys have to... Uh, contact the Illinois Department of Motor Vehicles and have them do this? Um, I have never heard of that. Right. Okay. Um, 
Because right now the title says, which I guess is your guy there. No, no, that's a previous. No, that's the no, previous that's owner. The previous, owner. previous owner. So I got the title from you, and I, I she, the woman at Motor Vehicle suspected that this was a a reissued title or a, or, or a title copy or something. Are you? Do you guys need to call? Uh, I don't know. Hang on just one second, and let me pull your file. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hang on just one second. Let me pull your file. Sure. Okay. I'll be right with you. Okay then. It's funny she didn't ask me for my last name, although I did tell her. So anyway, so the um, post-surgery healing is coming along nicely. Um, I've been going through therapy. This is actually week eight since the surgery. On Thursday, it'll be eight weeks. And I've actually been able to walk around normally without a cane or any support. Um, I'm still losing sleep at night. That's loud, isn't it? And uh, the the scars is there. It's going to be there for a while, but it's, it's not as bad as it used to be. That's loud. Holy crap, that's loud. Anyway, I, my range of motion is improved from the day, but this, I was in there the day after the operation. And. Okay. <laughs> Hi there. Okay. I am looking at the title. Okay. A copy of it. Okay. And the only thing it needs is your signature right underneath mine. That's interesting because the lady at the counter at here at the uh, motor vehicle office in North Carolina said that the title number does not come up in the system and they can't okay. register it and I can't they can't allow me to register the bike until the title is in the system. Right. Yeah, the date on the title says I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm going to try to pull it up in my system. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and it shows up. It does. An yes. The title number is 221-374-105-186. Oh, okay. Because the title number that's on the title that I have in my possession starts with an X. Oh. Yes. I'll read you the whole number if you'd like. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about the same motorcycle, aren't we? A 2003 Harley Davidson. All right, yeah, that's correct. Let's let's go through the, um, the the VIN number first. Make sure we're talking about the same bike. Uh, okay. Five five two. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I have. All right. So now the title number I've got is X two one eight one six nine four three three one. It's very strange. Yes. I wonder where this title okay. came from. Underneath the title number. Yeah. It should say a type of title. And it says original. You've got the wrong one. <laughs> How in the world did you end up with the original? I don't know. I have no idea. I had to apply for a corrected duplicate. Okay. They somebody sent it to me. I don't know. Well, I thought I did send you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just I just read off to you what I have. <laughs> Okay. So what now? Um, <laughs> so I don't even know what to say. Toss it up to okay. error. I've got a copy of the original title right here. Right. <gasps> and it does start with an X. Oh, boy. Okay. For so. And Cheryl. Well, no, I never filled it out for you. Okay. Because we never had the original. I needed the, the duplicate. Okay, so the back of the title was, wasn't filled out on your end, and you guys sent me the original title. We never had the we had the original, but then we couldn't find it because when we sent it into the state, which is where you got that original from, they right. told us they lost it. Okay, so now the bottom half of this title on the front is filled out. Yes. Okay. The original it is. Okay. Your name on it. Right. Now, does this mean that what you're telling, what I'm getting from this conversation is that this title that I have in my hand right now is null and void? Yes, it is. Okay. So I, sh I can just take this and put it in a round file. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then now you're going to send me another one. Well, <laughs> I already did. <laughs> We've got to find it. I sent it out May 16th, and I have a tracking number. Yeah, I have a feeling it's just going to lead me right to the title I have in my hand. <laughs> it shouldn't, because that's the 
That's not the title I sent you. Hmm. Then why do I have this? That's the big. That's the that's the million dollar question. Yeah, I have no idea how you got that unless the state sent it to you. I'll just go FedEx. I'll just check it. Well, you'll it'll give me the tracking number. Okay. And it almost, is... wait a second. Uh, tracking. Okay. Uh, tracking ID. Go ahead. And survey said. Uh, the tracking number you entered is invalid. Let me check UPS. UPS. Let's try them. <laughs> God damn it, it's gotta be so <laughs> We would hope anyway. And paste that number right in there and track. Loading. Okay, it says it was delivered. There. It says it was delivered Thursday, May 19th at front door. So this would be the one that I have in my hand. How can that be? I don't know, dear. All I know is I've got the title in my hand and that's when it came in. That is so not what I sent. <laughs> I never had the original. Okay, so now, now, that, now that we've established that I got the wrong title and you didn't send this, <laughs> how do we go about fixing this? I don't know. All right. So on, well, no, I can't pull that title number up. It is gone. Now, so can you guys request another title? Yes. Okay. I guess that's what we have to wait and do, right? Yes. I do not. I, I All I have is a bill of sale that's only signed by me. I don't have a bill of sale signed by the salesman. All right. I'm going to go talk to Rick and see how fast we can get another title in. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rhonda. Um, uh, just, even just say me saying I'm sorry is not going to take I, I No, look. I, look it, it, it happens, right? Yeah. I, okay. It does. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will look forward to uh, hearing from you. Okay. I will call you and let you know when I got something. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A few moments later. Okay, so let me see if I understand this correctly. You guys are go now going to send off for an expedited title. Yes. And they're gonna send that to you or they're gonna send that to me? They have to send it to me because I have to sign off on it. Okay, and but in the meantime, you're gonna send me, you're gonna email me a, basically an impro, a, co a copy of the, a copy of this expedited application. Okay, and in Illinois, that's okay. That, that should allow me allow me to drive if I were in Illinois. So we're gonna find out what that happens when I how North Carolina feels about that. Yes. <laughs> okay. And if you have any problems, Rick will handle it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, great. So how long do you think before I actually get the title? I am going to overnight it to them. I have no idea how long okay. it'll take for them to do. Okay. All right. And then they're going to overnight it back. Oh, okay. So I'm hoping just a couple weeks at the most. All righty then. Okay, perfect. And hopefully, uh, what I'll, let me give you my email address. Uh, you got a pen ready? Okay. Okay. So you email me that, and then tomorrow I will run off to motor vehicle and see if I can't confuse them even more. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> okay, Rhonda. I'm sure they can't be half as confused as me. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. All right, I shall be in touch. Thank you very much, Rhonda. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, bye bye. 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 The plot thickens. So there you have it, boys and girls. They sent me the original title not my title so even if i i could i could probably ride now but i can't so anyway well getting back to the whole operation thing uh, uh surgery went well and the um the healing process was tough uh, I, I will admit that the first uh, first few days was was rough. Uh, the second day was actually the hardest. After the, the day after the surgery was the roughest. It was I was in the most pain then, um, because the 24-hour pain block wore off. 
So I was in a lot of pain that day. I'm not going to lie, there were tears because it was it hurt quite a bit. But uh, after that, uh, it's it, it's it's a matter of it was a matter of just going through my physical therapy and doing the exercises that I had to do. And uh, uh, when I went there, the the thing, the key thing right now is is the range of motion, making sure my range of motion increases. When I first got the surgery and went to my first session of physical therapy, my range of motion, that is the range that I can bend my knee, okay? This being my knee, what I could bend it. My range of motion, I was at 66 degrees, something like on the order of like this. It was really bad, it was nothing. Um, their key is to get me up to 120 degrees. Uh, they just measured me on Friday and I was at 117. So it's improving. Uh, I had a therapy session today. I had to cancel. Uh, I'm going for my eight week post-op here in a couple days, and then they're going to make an assessment of whether I should continue with the therapy or not. I think I can stop with the therapy uh, and I can do my exercises here. I can get on my bicycle and I can make the pedals go around, which is a big thing because I need the range of motion has to be there for me to do that. Um, I still can't bend fully. I can't, I can't squat all the way down yet. Uh, but it's getting there, you know, and it's it's I, I like I'm still losing sleep at night because it does then it does bite me every now and then and I feel it uh, but I Am well enough and there's enough sitting strength in my knee that I could ride the bike so I'm hoping that by <laughs> Next week, <laughs> I don't know when I get the new title that I will be able to get out and go for a ride um, uh, aside from that I that's it I, I thank you very much for watching the videos that I've been posting up this is what I have I'm gonna try to uh, get some newer stuff going uh, I will give you of course you got this video and next week I'll hopefully have something else I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have like a Ted shed sort of a video coming up because I do have new parts that I have to put on the Sportster um, I have uh, saddlebag supports and I also have a um, engine guard that's going to be going on so i'm going to mount that uh, and i have to do some fabrication for that because i have to modify some things but anyway so i'm going to be doing that probably within the next uh, week or two i'll have that up uh, but thank you very much for watching the videos we have the, the channel's moving slow I, I understand it i get it but th thank you very much for sticking around um i hope you enjoyed the live wire videos and i also hope you enjoyed the pan am pan am video um the others that i've posted since uh they were just fills basically and I hope you've enjoyed that. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to click like below and subscribe, of course. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully next week with a new title and new license plates on the sports store. So don't forget to subscribe and watch one of these two videos up here. Okay? Peace out. Like this. Bye. Later.